Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and we are going to make a card. We're going to make the very basic, basic of cards and then we're gonna step it up a little bit and then we're gonna step it up even more. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using my Amazing Life stamp set and I'm gonna be using this So Happy to Have You in My Life. Now we are going to do it as a complete beginning stamper. So what I'm going to do, if we had, if we were just a beginning stamper, you would just take a piece of, let's say, um, Whisper White cardstock, fold it in half, and then stamp it. Okay? That's all you'd need to do. But we're going to eh, step it up just a little bit, and we're going to have a basic black background. I'm going to go ahead and fold that over and I'm just going to use my fingers because we're a beginning stamper and don't have many tools. And then I'm going to take two pieces of Whisper White, one for the front, one for the inside, and we're going to go ahead and prepare our card. So I'm going to take the Whisper White. Now I do have a block that we're going to be using. So I'm going to grab my So Happy to Have You in My Life. I'm just going to pull that guy off of there. And we're going to put that on as straight as possible because we're a brand new stamper and we are thinking that it has to be perfectly straight. <laughs> and then, because we are a beginning stamper, we probably have just the regular black ink. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this guy up. I'm going to ink it up really, really the best that I can. Okay, and then I'm going to put this guy on there, put it right in the middle, and stamp it down, and we've got a little so happy, and then we could add that right onto here, and we have a nice little cute card. So. I need to re-ink this, and I keep saying it, and I have to buy a re-inker. So what I'm going to do, having the tools, okay, just because I happen to have the tools, maybe not nearby. What did I do with my tools? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't find it because I had it put away in my little bag here. But I've got my Stamparatus tool, so I'm going to pull that guy out. And we're going to flip it over. We're going to flip that guy over. We're going to take this off. And you see exactly where I want it. Set it up a little bit higher here. And I think that is about where I'm going to want that. Yep. So I'm going to grab that. And now. I love my block, don't get me wrong. And I probably would not have gotten this out if it wasn't for my ink not being as bright as I'd like it to be. Okay. 
So I have a little bit of halos because my hand went a little bit crazy. So I'm just gonna take just a, a baby wipe here. And before I even go to stamp it, I'm gonna wipe that off. And the reason being is because I don't really want it to get on anywhere. Um, but I can already see there's some spots that just are gonna need to be re-inked already. So we did that. Flip this guy. And rub down really good. And then we're gonna come up with a pretty similar look there. But there's still a little bit, I wanna have it a little bit darker. Trying to get those pieces that I want to be darker there. So I'm going to put that guy down again. And this allows me to get a nice look at that image. So nice. Oh, look at that little so. Needs a little bit more. And we are good because I'm just going to go right here on that so part and throw it over there again. You can just keep on going. And now look at how nice and crisp that so is. So I've got that. I'm gonna really quickly grab this just because it is that black and I'm gonna just clean that off here with that baby wipe that I already have. So we've got that cleaned up. I'm gonna set it off to the side. Then, we're going to take our snail adhesive and just put some adhesive on there and put this in the front. So this would be our first, uh, well actually our second card which is stamped uh, set up with a little bit of a border there. So that would be our second card. And then we've got our envelope. And I think I'm going to take this little guy here and put him on the envelope to dress up the envelope just a little bit better. So I threw that on my block. Ooh. just going to put that right here. And there we go. Really cute card there. Who wouldn't be happy to receive this nice little card in the mail? So, we're going to step it up just a little bit. I'm going to now pretend that I have a few more stamping Tools. So I'm going to burnish this down a little bit better so we get that card nice and flat. Just look how flat it is now. So this, just so I can, you know, <laughs> um, I took a basic black, cut it in half. So an 8.5 by 11 cut in half, we then have an 8.5 by 5.5. Then once we score it at 4 and a quarter. We fold that over and we have this nice card base. Then we're gonna cut our white pieces down a quarter of an inch. So this white piece is now four by five and a quarter. And it leaves that nice little border. But I wanna add a little bit of color to it. So I'm gonna get out my Coastal Cabana marker and my Daffodil Delight marker. And I'm just gonna color these guys in 
easy enough. Still not hard, but a little bit stepped up there. And it's just like coloring in a coloring book when we were kids. So just coloring that guy. You can color it in any color that you want. You can make it rainbow if you'd like. And this is just a quick and easy card for somebody. I mean, how many cards could we make so quick, so easy? And I'm going to color that there and get that Y. And then I'm going to take the Daffodil Delight and we're going to color this banner in as well. I just love these two colors together. And me, I did stay within like coloring section by section, but really you don't have to. <laughs> you can just color the whole thing. And we're going to get that nice little yellow banner in there. Super cute. And then, since we have this out, let's give the little border with just a little bit of that Daffodil Delight. It, it, you can't really tell because it's so thin, but it gives a nice little border there. Let's see if you can tell. I'll, tell, I'll show you the difference between the two P's there. So this P is done, so you can see a little bit, and then this P has not been done yet. And there we go. Step that guy up a little bit, put a little bit of color in there, and now look at how cute that card is to be sent. Really cute, right? So <clears throat> we're almost done, but not quite yet. I'm gonna take a piece of Coastal Cabana, and that is cut, oh gosh, if that was a quarter, then this is a, an eighth of an inch because it's going to leave a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around there. So I'm going to take that and put this down with our snail adhesive. And I'm going to line up if I have any like little straggles I like to kind of just run my finger across to make it nice there. And then I'm going to line this all up up here so that we can get a nice border all the way around. So see how that goes? I just make sure all of this is lined up nicely and then everything else falls into place. And then we're going to add this on top. Remember two sides to every piece of paper. And we're going to do the same thing here. Line that up. To have that nice border. Now look at that card. Super cute. And <clears throat> we're just going to keep kind of adding so you could see what's happening here. So I have some of this... Um, butterfly paper that is in the celebration that I got for free. 
So if you haven't heard of Celebration yet, you haven't been watching my channel. But um, if you order $50 or more, you can get an item. For every $50 you order, you get a free item. I chose the butterfly paper. There's also stamp sets. There's all kinds of great things you can buy. So I took and just cut a piece there using the black and the white. And I got this little guy. And then I also, on another piece, another d piece had a different background, and we have this little guy. So I'm going to take that, and I already like that diagonal that's kind of cut on it. So I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm just trying to decide how I want this to be. Oh, I dropped it. Don't mind my head if you saw that. So again, still just trying to decide how I want this. I think I want this piece on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that, add that right down here, straight across. And then I'm gonna take this guy and I'm going to cut, actually I think I'll just cut it at that same angle. Yeah, I think I like that better. And then I'm going to take this, add this guy on there as well. Placing one right above the other, a little bit shorter. And look at how cute this card is. And then, my final thing that I'm gonna do here is I have still some of these little leftover um, enamel shapes that I'm gonna use, and they happen to be in the Daffodil Delight. So I'm gonna grab my Pick it tool. And we're just going to put one right here. And then I think we'll put one here and one right next to it. And look at how cute that card is. So we've done that. And then I'm going to take the envelope and just color in these leaves here. We're going to use the Coastal Cabana. And then the Daffodil Delight. For the flower. And there you go. So again, this you guys, this was only made with the one, two stamps from this set. I love this set because it has so much in it that can be done. Oh my gosh, uh, just so much can be done with this set. So even for um, St. Patrick's Day coming up tomorrow, or is it today? What's the date today? tomorrow. Okay. Whew. That's my, uh, my son's anniversary. I thought I might have missed it. Anyways, so we have this guy here that you could have easily made a St. Patrick's Day card for tomorrow. And if you have this set already, hurry, make one. I'd love to see it. But this took up that whole card. So pretty. Great little card. And I don't know. I think it's just sweet. Who wouldn't love to have that? So if you do order from me, I'll put the link down below. You guys, please use this code. It's available um, for the next couple weeks. It ends at the end of March, just like Celebration. 
So if you guys want to um, purchase, do so right away. You have exactly two weeks left. Like, exactly. And then also, if you want to sign up to be a demonstrator, you have a great deal right now. It's a perfect time to join. It's only $99. You get $175 worth of product that you get to pick out, plus all of the stuff you need to start your own business like mine if you'd like to. All right, beauties. Enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and put this card in the next grab bag. So I'll put that link down below as well if you guys want to grab a grab bag of cards, eight of them uh, in a grab bag, and this one will be in there as well. So that's for the first person who orders the grab bag set. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yo